Lead code 181. Employees earning more than their managers. Write a solution to find the employees who earn more than their managers. Return the results table in any order. The result format is in the following example. We're going to solve this question in both SQL and Python. Let's get coded. All right, so let's go over our example input. So we have these IDs, the name, and then the salary. And then we have another one over here, which has the manager ID. So for this example, right, we have Joe who makes 70,000, but the manager is three. So we go to the manager, it's Sam that makes 60,000. Now Sam doesn't have a manager, which in an ideal world, like that doesn't make any sense. Everyone has a manager except for the CEO. But regardless, right, this would be the, uh, one of our examples, right? Joe makes more than Sam, but Joe reports to Sam. And you might think this is crazy, but it happens more often than you think, especially with technical employees that report to those who aren't super technical. Um, just from the business side of things. But regardless, uh, that's essentially what we have to do, but we only have one table. So how I think of this is we're gonna have to essentially join manager ID and then ID. So we're gonna join on its own table. Uh, kind of a tricky interview question, which I think this is also an easy. So it's it's kind of a curveball for a lot of people, at least your first time taking a look at this if you're not uh, well-versed in SQL. So let me explain how I would do this first. So what I'm just gonna do is select and we'll start off with the select star and then we're gonna do from employee. And since we're gonna be using employee twice, we should get, give a table alias to these. So I'm gonna call this E1 and then I'm gonna left join. So left join employee E2. And technically you could inner join. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter in this specific example, but uh, we're gonna say left join employee E2 on e2.id equals e1.manager ID. Manager ID like this. All right, so why we're doing this? So again, we're grabbing from employees E1, which is our first copy of this table. We're gonna join another version of this table, employees E2 on this manager ID column. So what's gonna happen, right, is Sam and Max, these columns over here are gonna be null right? Um, because there is no specific manager above them. But since Joe and Henry have managers, this three and four will map over here to the right. Uh, so we're going to have a larger table. So just to show you what this code looks like, if I just go over here and click run, and obviously it's not going to be correct, right? This is, but this is just our work in progress. You can see it says ID name, salary manager, ID, ID name, salary manager, ID, exactly what we wanted. Now, Okay, great. If we want to now filter out where we only have Joe. So how do we go about that? Well, first thing that we need to do is we need to specify this employee. So let's do that. And our table doesn't have an employee field, right? We just have name. So we're going to have to go over here and say e1.name, right? So we're grabbing our name from this first table. We're going to grab this Joe and we're going to say as employee. So I'm as employee like that. Okay, now that's great, right? We have these names just as employees, but we need to filter this out just to only show Joe. So we need one more line. So we need to say where, and we're gonna say e2.salary, which is the manager's salary, right? In this case, it's gonna be Sam and Max compared to Henry and Joe. We're gonna say is less than this e1.salary. And that is gonna be our final code. We click over here and run. I'm gonna do one more walkthrough and it's been accepted and I would submit it, but I've already submitted the same exact code. So one more time how this works is we are gonna select our name from this table and we're gonna say as employee. Then we're gonna have our first table version of employee E1. We're gonna left join our employee E2 on E2.id, which is the ID of the manager equals e1.manager id. Now, since we have these combined in one table, we're gonna be taking a look at cases where the manager salary is less than the employee, which is e2.salary is less than e1.salary. All right, let's move into the Python example. So the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to merge, again, kind of like what we did with the SQL with the left join, we're gonna merge two data frames in this case together. So I'm gonna call these results. And we're gonna say results equals pd.merge, okay? 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put employee in here twice. So employee and then employee. Okay. Now what we're gonna say is we're gonna merge left on. So this is our left join essentially. And we're gonna clarify this is the manager ID. Okay. And then our right on, right on is just gonna be our ID. Now, if we had the same exact field, like we're joining another table that just had ID, we could just say it's on ID. But since these are gonna be different, right? We have a manager ID and ID. You need to specify what's gonna be on the left and what's gonna be on the right for this merge of these different data frames, okay? Next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna relabel all of these different columns now just because it's gonna be a little bit messy. So you can write suffixes like this, suffixes like this equal. And then essentially what we're gonna say is the first one is gonna be our employee one. So employee, and then our second one is gonna be manager. So put over here, manager like that. So now this is gonna recreate essentially this data frame over here. One of them is gonna say employee for these four fields. And the other one is gonna say manager for the four fields. All right, now we're gonna do results too. And we're gonna say this is gonna be equal to our results again. So just feel free to copy or type this out. And we're gonna put results in here and we're gonna see that the salary employee right here is gonna be greater than, and then you can feel free to copy this and this time we're gonna say it's gonna be manager. Very end. Again, why it makes it really nice to say employee and manager right over here. It makes it so much easier. We don't have to specifically run this to see the, I think it's like X and Y that populates. Much easier just to put employee manager like this. So uh, our second thing is gonna get a result set only when the salary employee, right, is gonna be greater than the salary of the manager. Okay, now we need to rename our column. So since we have name here, we're going to have to rename it. So we're going to say results to dot rename. Inside over here, we're going to say columns equal. And then what we can put inside here first is our name employee. And we want to just have employee. So put this over here, employee like that. And then since we're not going to create a new table, we can just put in place equals true. So in place equals true. You can name this results three if you really wanted to and remove the in place true, but I'm just gonna put that there for efficiency side of things. And then our final thing is we're gonna return results to, and we're gonna return inside over here our employee. Okay, and this should run correctly, assuming I made no typos and it's been accepted. So again, just to kind of break down what we're doing is we're doing a uh, merge with the help of pandas over here. We're merging two employees, right? Employee, we're using this table twice. So employee, employee. The left, we're gonna merge on this manager ID. The right, which is the new table, we're gonna join on this ID. Since our left is gonna be the original employees, we name this employee. Since the right is gonna be our managers, we label this as manager, and that's at the very end. Right, so our new field is gonna be salary employee and salary manager. Now we filter out the results. We grab everything from our results, right? And inside over here, we're only looking for the results where the salary employee is making more than the salary manager. Then since we need to rename this column over here, we have results to dot rename columns and we just say name employee, right? Name field again, just on the employee side of things is gonna be just employee. We do in place equals true. And finally, we return results to double brackets because we expect to have a data frame out and that's just gonna be the new employee column. And that gets us our final output over here expected with Joe. And again, since I've already submitted the same exact solution, I'm not gonna do that once again. So that's lead code 181. I hope you guys found some value from this video. If you do have a little bit more efficient code, make sure to post it down below so I can take a look at it and become a better coder myself. Now I have a full leak code playlist that I'm developing right over here. I'm uploading multiple videos a week with leak code questions. So make sure to check that out.